Hi guys, Otto here from Tron.com and today I'm going to show you how to program the Somfy Oximo IO40 solar motor a mouthful and all you need is a remote control and a screwdriver or anything else that's pointy which allows you to press the program button uh, on the back of the remote which we're going to do at the end so let's go and have a look and see how it's done So, um, it's a solar motor, I have the battery in front of me, the motor is inside of the tube already, um, so it's already installed, and now I'm going to do the first step, which is take control of the motor, and we're going to do that by selecting a channel on the remote control, if you have a single channel remote control, you don't need to do that, I have a Situ 5 here, um, and I have 5 channels to choose from, so I'm going to select channel number 1. The first thing I need to do now is press the up and down button to take control of the motor. And normally you should hear a small jog, so a movement up and down of the, of the motor. Um, but what we've noticed is that sometimes the motor is still in a state where it's in sleep mode. Um, and that means that it's not going to respond. So what I'm going to do now is test that by disconnecting and reconnecting the battery. And hopefully that will wake the motor up. So let's do that. So I'm going to disconnect. And I have an extension cable here. Normally your cable will be a lot shorter. Um, but it's just for uh, for the ease of making this video at the moment. Um, so I've disconnected it. It doesn't matter how long really, just a few seconds would normally be enough. I'm going to reconnect it so that the motor has power again. And I'm going to try and do the same thing. So press the up and down button and keep holding it until the motor hopefully responds with a jog. And there is no response. And there it is. It took ages. So you have to really be patient and wait until the motor responds. It can take up to 10 seconds as we've seen. So keep trying and at some point it hopefully will respond. But I've already had to try several times as well in making this video to get it to respond so you really have to be patient it takes a while for it to wake up so now that we have it in programming mode the next thing we can do is check the direction in which the motor rolls so i'm going to press down and it's rolling up so i need to change the direction in which it runs and i can do that by pressing the my button and holding that until the motor jogs i'm going to do that now so press and hold and the motor has responded with a jog, so hopefully it will now run in the right direction. And now when I press down, it actually goes down, so we've successfully reversed the direction of the motor. And we can now proceed with setting the lowest limit, so the limit at the bottom of the roller blind. And let's say it's far enough here, because I keep pressing down until it's at the right position. Let's say that's here. And the next thing you'll do is just release the button. You can still adjust at this point, so you can press down or up to position it exactly where you want it to be. And then when you're satisfied with the position, you need to press mine up and keep holding those until the motor starts rolling up. That's now. I can release the buttons. And then I can check to see if it's in the right upper position. And press the my button to stop it from rolling. So let's say I want it approximately here. I press the my button to stop it and now I can fine tune it by again pressing up and down until it's in the right position. So let's say I want it here. I'm just going to release the button and I'm going to do something similar than we've done before. I'm going to press my and down and I'm going to keep holding those two buttons until the motor starts rolling and then I can release them. So my and down. Now I can release them and I can immediately press my to stop it. So that's done. Nothing's moving. Next, I need to confirm the end limits by pressing my and to and continue holding that until the motor jogs. So press and hold. That's the jog right there. And next thing I need to do is that actually to close up the whole procedure. And that's press the program button on the back of the remote. It's here. And now I'm going to use my screwdriver. And we're going to press the button until the jog's there. And that's it. It's done. So now I can check to see if it's rolling to the right positions. So first I'm going to press up because that's the closest position. And you can see here that it starts moving slowly and then increases in speed. 
and th that's because it has a slow start so stop function which uh, protects the motor and the fabric um, and if you, if you use it in the rotor shutter it protects the rotor shutter sh um, slats so now I'm going to press down there it goes it goes hopefully down to the lowest position you can see it slow down again and it stops so we've successfully set the end limits um, and you can see that because we press the button once and it rolls automatically to its lowest or highest position so you, need, you don't need to hold it if you still need to hold it when you've done this that means it's still in programming mode so then you know that you have to um, still uh, confirm the end limits and press the program button now if you have any questions about programming the motor or anything else that has to do with something solar please let me know the email address is info at tom.com thanks for watching and see you in the next one